hello friends how are you hope everybody is doing well and uh, if you are watching this video um, I think you are interested in doing a PGP course or PGP diploma in data science that's why you are here so I before moving forward I just want to make two comments and uh, I have put a disclaimer also all the views are my personal views and uh, I'm making this video for educational purpose it has nothing to do with the decision making and brand endorsement or harming to any brand it is just the core review of the course so please do your diligence, due diligence and uh, take a decision based on that moving forward the, in this video we are going to discuss about the PGP course which is offered by great learnings in data science and engineering the the requirement they have given it is designed for freshers and early career professionals which has less than three years of work experience so the first question is why I'm making this video because I see that they are bombarding the YouTube with their uh, offerings their ads um, I'm getting ads every day and I little really felt that I should review it and provide uh, informative uh, my opinions what I think about this pro uh, uh, this course okay so that's why this video is here before uh, before this video I was I already made a video for the bits for bits planning course um, for mtech program you can watch that too and uh, come to a conclusion based on based on these reviews if you have not subscribed to the channel or you are new to the channel please consider subscribing it really helps me to and motivates me to bring more videos to you and that will be really helpful for the channel as well because it will reach to maximum people before before jumping at any any questions we are going to discuss a lot of questions like for example does it help in getting the placements is it worth what are the advantages disadvantages and my opinions we are going to discuss a lot of things but before that please subscribe to the channel share with your friends and family uh, and we will first review uh, review this on uh, on their page on their web page what they are offering and then we will uh, we'll come to these comments later on let's go directly to the course so this is their website where they have published the course this is for PGP course in data science and engineering you might have seen lots of YouTube ads if you have searched for data science are popping up and they are you know uh, serving you everything that there are millions of the jobs of data science and it's easy you just get enrolled and get a job uh, everybody can uh, can place their ads whatever they want but uh, we also need to do due, due diligence whether we are getting the value enough value for this particular course or not okay so today we are going to discuss about this complete process and understand whether it is really worth to spend that much of money the the amount of money they are charging uh, the time they are uh, uh, they are asking for whether it is right uh, right part of it or not since and how much brand value they are carrying we are going to discuss all those points before moving there let's discuss about the syllabus so this is what they they provide as a certificate this is a certificate program again and you will get certificate something like this which is written like postgraduate program pgp in data science and engineering this course is for five months if you see this is for five months uh, I will not go by their rating I am not uh, there to rate them what they do so I am here to provide my opinion and my understanding which I understood from uh, from the industry because I work there and I, I, I work in industry and I have interviewed few people I have worked with few people who have taken the courses from great learning and also my internet research okay so uh, coming to their curriculum what they are offering you so they have provided that like, they are giving going to give the foundation like the, you, are, you are going to learn about the programming language python where you have syntax conditional statement loops iterator user defined function numpy pandas so i would say this part is very easy if you are sincere enough you can easily cover all this introduction to the python from youtube there are really good free tutorials available which you can use to inter, uh, to get introduced to python and uh, learn well uh, if you uh, there, there are many channels youtube channels i don't want to endorse anybody but uh, there are many channels you can you can uh, ask in me comment section i will try to ping you some uh, name of the some channels okay so the one problem here which is like this is wrong okay this is wrong and i really get disappointed by seeing when institute is selling their uh, now you can see it's on internet okay the institute is selling data science courses and they are use they are using wrong c bone here is correct this one is correct but this is wrong you see e is extra here they should not do that it's not good they are selling data science courses but anyways i'm, uh, I'm i just made a point here 
hope they will watch my video and correct it anyway okay so this pandas mean max median most various variance standard deviation all of them uh, you if you have done btech you might have seen all those uh, this these statistics in your studies but anyways if you want to learn pandas seaborn matplotlib they, then there are plenty of the resources available for free so i would not consider that also as a big thing uh, coming to the next one the statistical method for decision making yes this is a good good addition they have and since you need a thorough understanding of statistical distributions because it helps you to make a decision and i i would consider this is a good addition in their curriculum anyways it is there also freely available but you need instructor help in order to understand it properly why you are doing something where to use what type of technique so uh, i would say that it, this part is very much required uh, when where you have instructor or somebody who can guide you that at what time you are going to use this which technique okay so plus point for this one sql programming this is very basic one we everybody who has done engineering if they have done computer science and the assumption i am taking it they have they are from computer science or information technology or information system they have already been introduced to these techniques in their college days or you when if you are preparing if you are working in the industry you are already using them so this is again an introductory course okay this is very very introduction so uh, if we talk about the foundation i will say this uh, minus 3 plus 1 this statistics is good but others ones you can easily learn for free okay the next module is about the machine learning so they are going to talk about linear and logistic regression yes this is very basic one and you should know like they are talking i aic bic model fitting then odd ratios they are going to talk about supervised learning unsupervised learning ensemble techniques and then applications they have put like they you you are going to have you know the similarly like you have logistic regression in machine learning techniques they are going to cover um, you see the uh, they are going to cover like supervised learning where you have knn decision tree naive base then unsupervised learning algorithms ensemble like random forest ada boosting bagging boosting and there there is a good youtube channel uh, which talks about only the stats and machine learning and i think course are also having a lot of good content on this so i would not give too much of good marks for this but if you are somebody who wants to learn from the instructors and you need somebody to guide you then i think uh, this is also one additional point they they will get here what is the positive point which great learning is having they have a defined assignment process and that assignment gives you know it forces a candidate or aspirant to really work upon it and get uh, you know move forward because there are a lot of people who just enroll and they will never ever do go back and learn the things by themselves so they need some push and that push can come from this institute so i would give a plus one here application is like text time series forecasting trend decomposition yes it's a good one but there is a really good book also of this application so i wouldn't say that they they will be teaching something really great other than what the that book covers so you can type intern uh, on internet you will get that book name it's very famous the time series forecasting with r and similarly it is in uh, uh, python as well so you can look upon those but uh, looking on the curriculum yes this this curriculum for time series forecasting you will be using in your real time projects in your uh, if you are working in data science okay if you get an assignment and you get to you get to work on the time series forecasting for sure you are going to you are going to work upon it okay text mining text mining is is a big very big topic but i i'm not i'm not sure how much they are going to cover and it is highly respected in the industry it's very much relevant to the industry i have used two pro i have built two projects using this text mining uh, techniques like i have using I have used LDA for the topic modeling. I have used word to vec also. So it's very, very standard to use in industry. So this curriculum, I would say 100% aligned what we do in industry. And it's quite advanced also. You can add a little bit of deep learning here and you will be very much aligned with the industry. So this goes with plus one. And if you do good projects, like some projects which, which are better than the Twitter sentiment analysis, usually people do Twitter sentiment analysis. Instead of that, go with the product review uh, project that will really uh, really add value so i will give you plus one for this course now let's go to the data visualization so they are they are providing services for their or they are helping candidates to learn tableau which is a great tool but sometimes 
uh, tableau is costly so sometimes you will you will see companies are not using it having having said that since people are using it it's okay to learn this also instead of this if i will be at uh, uh, i will be at the institute director level i will change it to the grafana and open source data visualization tools like grafana and kibana elk stacks where people can really understand and learn something for free so tableau is costly for sure tableau is costly but it's nice to have i i wouldn't give them marks for this because you can easily learn it from internet and uh, tableau will provide is also providing great trainings you can take from their portal okay now coming to their capstone project i have learned it that they will form a group of people and then you are going to get uh, get a project as a group project and you are going to work upon it so you see, it's usually uh, toy data or some modification in the data uh, which is not equivalent to industry but they will try to make it somewhere equal to industry and uh, you will be working with uh, under under somebody's supervision who is a who is working as a data scientist in industry what is the issue with this the problem which which i will have with this particular capstone project because the person when they when they work with this kind of courses they only learn how to build a model data science is much more big than what you think like it's just the modeling modeling is not data science data science starts from business understanding you know how to uh, crunch the numbers and even more than that how to approach a problem so that those things you cannot uh, develop using a five months course or five months certificate course so i don't know how much this one is useful but i have seen people and i have interviewed people also who have done this course and this project so they are good in they they are, they are good in modeling they understand like why they are taking a decision for example why they have used random forest instead of decision tree they are able to answer those questions so uh, uh, it's a plus point when it comes to the modeling for testing and validation but if it comes to the deployment if it comes to the uh, data understanding and business understanding and driving an approach uh, i would say it's minus 2 okay so that's my understanding with this capstone project but modeling you will learn there coming to the next phase which is the career preparation phase so they do have uh, since it's a big institute it's marketed well so they are tied up with multiple organizations and uh, i have seen people getting placed in data science positions who have switched the career so it's not uh, i i'm not selling high but i'm telling you the truth there are people who have say, who have changed the, their career from software engineer to data science using this particular program they have aptitude skill training development they do the re resume review and they also help in interview preparation interview preparation i will not give too much of weightage because you get a lot of free resources on internet nowadays there are people who are helping people uh, for free uh, for preparing for the data science interviews as well so this is not the addition but yes for example building a, a cv when you don't have experience in industry so that's really tough and they do help in that so i think here i will give a plus one to them it doesn't matter what type of certificate you have trust me nowadays indian indian um, uh, industry has changed we don't look for or no I, I would say there are few people who will look for it i would not discard them but uh, having a certificate from a very highly recognized institute will not guarantee you a job that's for sure so the job is only guaranteed if you have a skill set because everybody will interview you so if you are clearing the interview that is based on your knowledge so I, I wouldn't give any marks to that but for sure they have some hiring process and uh, uh, they can help in that coming to their their uh, projects the projects they are providing i'm um, see all these projects go on kaggle you get all the code for free so model building is not about data science model building is not complete or i would say it's not complete data science it's just one component of data science you can read one uh, research paper from google it's technical data in data machine learning so you can understand what is the uh, why i'm saying that so modeling is very small component there are many many other components for example ml ops machine learning operations data analysis data uh, data data engineering and then business analyst so all these components together together mixed becomes a data scientist so that's that's we need to be very clear on that so little bit addition what could have been better here that they could have added one data engineering course also since they say they are they say by name if you go that data and engineering i don't see the data engineering here so data engineering is something where you build pipelines so you have data coming for example data is coming you need to build pipelines to capture that data do feature engineering on that and have a data pipeline so data ready for modeling 
I don't see that is happening right now or maybe they have some other method. I would also highly encourage people to add machine learning operations like ML ops for example how you will deploy this model so having flask application is not actually standard industry standard so if you are if they are selling their course by saying that this is industry standard then they must also add ML ops in this this course so this is that's all for about this I'll the very important part about this course is is about money how much money is involved so let's click on that and see what is the fees so it is 3 lakhs 50 thousands plus GST let's look upon how what they are saying they are saying first installment 50 thousand if you see every month the money is going out and this is excluding your GST I don't know how much it will come so looking upon this uh, we need to go back to our slide and start reviewing what we were thinking so let's go back till now if you have not subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and share with your friends now it comes to the we will come to our questions so the first question is does it help in getting the placement i already asked uh, answer this question this is mostly asked question yes it helps okay in categorical answer yes it helps because uh, they have they have tie up with lot of organizations who needs trained data scientists and they are able to place i have seen few people getting placed by myself so uh, i can say yes it's it helps okay is it worth you can see if somebody is fresher he has already paid 4 lakhs for 4 years right so I am putting as a benchmark I don't know if it can be higher for some people or it can be a little bit lower but let's consider the mean value is 4 lakhs and then you are going to that was 4 years and then you are paying 3.5 lakhs plus GST for 5 months you you are intelligent enough to crunch these numbers now advantage is does it help in career yes it can give you a kick start for your career it can help you to start your career in data science at entry level yes it is it is for your entry level data science i wouldn't say that somebody who is in the middle middle level of career and uh, if he does this five years five months course will have a great career i can't guarantee that the another part about the faculty yes faculty is good i heard from my friends who have um, uh, done this course they said that faculty is good and uh, they are able to Co correlate this course directly with the industry so that's a good part about this this is these are the advantages i see now my opinion okay i have already explained this in the other co uh, uh, other video that given a choice i will never go for a pgp uh, diploma course doesn't matter it's from great learning or uh, uh, mit or some other institutes okay i will prefer degree degree is my first priority because 3.5 i can't i can't pay for for five months course it's very expensive for me so I will not pay or I will never pay that's that's my statement on the other end I get I get to pay few lakhs like two and a half lakhs rupees to get a degree from IIT or BA beats or some other uh, which is my master's degree and I spend two years that I, I will pay for that but that is also 2.5 I will not pay 3.5 or 4 lakhs rupees for a five months course which is again basics and maximum things I can find out for free on internet okay the additional points i already explained you in the in the previous section uh, what they have addition what where they have positive points this is my personal opinion now the question was like does it help in data science jobs yes i have seen people who have worked who have taken these courses they joined as a data scientist and they were able to work well in industry they were able to settle down so i would say yes they have a job profile relevance and uh, they do teach you the basic things which you need to perform your day-to-day uh, uh, -day work in, in data science profile so with this thanks a lot for listening and please do share subscribe and like the video share with your family and friends so that they also get enlightened again this is for my this this video was from my opinions my views which i have done with my research with my uh, experience and with um, feedback from the people you can do your own due diligence the point thing three points you should remember one is is it worth can you pay this much of money for five months course you need to do that relevance do are you really looking for a getting a started placement this is the question you should answer and then another question is like this one the, the faculty faculty wise they are better okay so these are the three things you can you can look for the for in this video complete video i will already explain everything what you need to know and i think it will be really helpful for you guys if it is helpful please put in the comment section and if you have any other questions ask me i will try to answer those questions so see you in the next video thanks a lot